other creators try to draw my husband. Aiden, will you draw my husband? <laughs> yeah. God, it's looking so good. He has the same face as the Bucky on your hat. Behold, Sir Richard. <gasps> oh my God, you look adorable. <laughs> Jenks, will you draw my husband? Of course I will. There it is. <gasps> <gasps> you look at those muscles. Where are those, I wonder? You want to draw my husband? I would love to. She gives hobbity vibes. Are you sure it's just not the size of his pumpkins? <laughs> <gasps> so accurate. Oh, do you want to draw my husband? This might be big. <laughs> you know that kind of fits somehow. Oh, oh. <laughs> you get a little thumbs up. Jackie, will you draw my husband? Uh, hey, 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 hey! Ow, ow, ow. Ouch! I can't wait to see. <gasps> Look at you! You're a little gnome. Now it's Josh's turn. Are you doing good? I'm doing great. What are you doing though? Posing. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I think I'm done. I see you've avoided the hands. <laughs> Really good. So I've been wondering, what if dog breeds were human? <laughs> Starting off with the ever so famous white crusty dog. These tiny little poof balls are basically the Baba Yaga of the dog world. <laughs> Meaning that they look perpetually 250 years old and they might eat your children. They might. But not only do they look 100 years old, no, no. They also live as long as that grudge that you have on Jessica from the first grade because she said that your what? mini skirt looked really ugly. <laughs> but you know you looked amazing in that mini skirt. You know what? What do you know, Jessica? And I think the reason that they live that long is just because, you know, they're they're built like a tank. Western and eagles, stronger than lions. And thus, buff grandma. Oh, <laughs> buff grandma, Rich! And for some reason, these tiny little dogs that everyone's aunt seems to have are always named like Princess or Bella. <laughs> but you know what? Princess is going to do a much better job of guarding your house than a German Shepherd. <laughs> oh no, Princess! doesn't bite. Yes, she does, Aunt Becky. Yes, she does. Oh my God, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and with that, everybody say hello to Grandma Krusty. <laughs> Vote on the next dog here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. And who is our first character going to be? Oh, the lovely Princess Bee. Who will the Princess Bee combined with? <laughs> Mr. Twin. So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine the lovely, ever so elegant Princess Peach with a crusty, musty, dusty crab. I'm starting over because that's what's not gonna work. Since I was having trouble with the crab, I'm incorporating a little bit more burger into this drawing. Less animal, more magnificent. They're not an animal. Crabs aren't animals. They're fish. <laughs> fish aren't animals? No, they don't even know what their favorite color is. They're not an animal. I don't even have time to address what you just said. I'm moving on. I am a genius. Yes, I have made part of the dress out of lettuce and look at them buns! I am also adding fishnets for obvious reasons. I'm done, so are you ready, kids? Presenting <laughs> Princess Krabby Buddy! I'm the fusion generator here. I'm gonna turn content creators into training cards. First up is Haley and Kendra. Whoa! Oh my god, I love you! <laughs> Kendra. Oh, <laughs> Next we have the queen. <laughs> You are a playing card. Yeah! <laughs> Megan and Jack. <laughs> Shut up! I love this! I knew I was attractive. But... <laughs> Can't forget about Ryan. It's <laughs> so cute! I am a card! <laughs> Special ability, Kirkland signature. <laughs> it's Shane! Follow him on his journey through life, and you're sure to laugh. I'm gonna cry. Thank you. <laughs> the tears are blinding me. I can't see it. Can't forget Mr. Hamilton. You're legit. <laughs> I love the art style. And last but not least, Jennings. Oh, what? Jennings. <laughs> he's got the wrist and the hair all heavy weekend. He's got it all his own. He can't do except for maybe since two. That's so perfect. <laughs> That's amazing, you guys. I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, no, but it's dinner time. <laughs> it's not dinner time. We had dinner an hour ago. Well, dessert time then. <laughs> always pick the worst time. Dessert time is the worst time. Dessert time is always the worst time. What? Cookies, <laughs> What did you make? So this is Philip, the cupcake prince, <laughs> and it's Honey Badger, Todd. Now I'm going to get myself something like a treat. Why is his name Todd? No, no, no. <laughs> so I have to redraw Philip and a Todd in my own style. <laughs> what are you eating? Uh, I don't know. Where did you get those? Uh, downstairs. Those were a surprise. For, for later. Oh. For you. Oh. I've decided to turn his lollipop staff into a lollipop mace. Richard, why is he scared? Because he's not going to get any dessert or cupcakes. He's going to eat his fellow cupcakes. Yeah, they're delicious. I'm worried about you. Cookie, I've got cookies. I'm good. Everyone say hello to <laughs> Philip and his honey badger, Todd. <laughs> 
So it's my anniversary. Usually that means it's time to draw my husband as something weird or silly or cute. <laughs> but this year, I'm doing something a little different. I don't really like taking photos of myself. And that's something that always makes Rich really sad. I'm hiding in the closet now because Rich came home. Uh, I wanted to surprise him this year by making him think I'm gonna draw, but I'm not. I'm gonna do like a foxy, bodacious photo shoot where I wear makeup and everything. And Rich has never seen me in makeup, so I... <laughs> surprise the photos are here here's just a few of them it's actually really nice to like actually like a photo of myself for the first time in years but there's no time for feelings because it's time to show my husband okay look uh -huh. whoa <laughs> <laughs> whoa so i didn't i didn't make you a drawing this year i like this even more <laughs> i love you You're so pretty i love you <laughs> richard what? prepare yourself what? the competition Last time we drew each other as Matchmaster's characters, but this time we draw ourselves. What is this face supposed to mean? You just want to do this because I beat you last time. <laughs> oh, that's what you think you did. You think this is the drawing of a winner? Yeah. You're gonna be a lemur again. No, I am not. I'm not redoing. <laughs> I'm going to be a robot, so I'm literally a digital artist. I don't like their snazzy robot butler. I can't do that. Oh, well, what are you gonna make yourself? I don't know. I don't have a personality. <laughs> Did you come up with an idea for yourself? Yep, I think I captured myself perfectly. Oh god, what did you do? <laughs> Rich, <laughs> here's mine! What do you think, Rich? Um, I think it's good. It doesn't have enough lemur in it. <laughs> Richard? Oh, uh -uh, no, get back here! <laughs> you think you approved upon my design for you? I think I did. <gasps> oh. Rich. Also, Matchmaster is giving away five different Amazon gift cards. Earn 50 stars for a chance to win. Get my bio to try the game for yourself. I have drawn my husband too many times to count. And you know what? I think, I think I'm sick of it. I think I'm sick of it, Rich. <laughs> so what if other creators drew my husband? Oh, heck yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> Let's see how it's going. All right, we done. Present to Richard the <gasps> Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's you can make you can make him into something if you want. I'm making you into a crab. <laughs> I'm an artist. You gave my husband crabs? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my very best. And here you go. Oh, I love this one. I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> Scared. Jane, would you? Smash. So, <laughs> are you having a dramatic moment? Yeah, Louis. Oh! oh party oh, time balloon. Party time. Since my husband has yet to ask me to be his Valentine, I'm just gonna ask him by making him a silly, saucy Valentine's Day card. And what will our theme be? <laughs> Nothing says romance like a wet, soggy sponge. <laughs> direction I wanted to go in. Okay, wait. This might not be as bad as I thought because I was looking up sponges. Ah! He really said scrub daddy. <laughs> Other people get, you know, chocolate and flowers. No, no. I'm over here gauging did I put too much sweat on my scrub papa. <laughs> it's, so it's time to ask the Valentine's Day boy. Oh my god, he's got a sponge. Do I look? Yes. <laughs> wait. What? <laughs> Daddy? Will you be my scrub daddy? Um, I don't think I can be that kind of scrub daddy. Oh. <laughs> Today is the day, Rich, when we draw TikTok scientific bad boy Hank Green, or should I say Honk Green? Honk Green? <laughs> so, Adventures in Arcadia, aka Roll for Sandwich, made a video where they asked artists to draw Hank Green as a Canadian goose. And you know what? That's what I do! I had other things to do today. It doesn't matter. We're here for the honk! And might I just say, we are all aware that Hank Green is really just a pelican masquerading as a man. <laughs> However, the pun of Hank Green is too hard to resist. <laughs> but I didn't just want to draw him as like a goose, so I made him into a D&D character. A wizzificer. <laughs> Yes, no! <laughs> this is hot green! You need to show some respect, sir. <laughs> He's definitely the one in the party stopping everybody else from doing stupid things like eating grass. <laughs> Don't eat grass! Don't eat grass. He be spitting facts and spells at his enemies. <laughs> so without further ado, everyone say hello to Hawk Green. I would pay good money to watch this goose slay a dragon. We've drawn Lightning and Sally. Toothless. Sid the Slow. Olaf. And many, 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 many 
others as human. And this time, enough of you guys wrote in and got Bluey. Let's find out what Bluey would look like if they were human. <laughs> this is going to need to be like heavily personality based because they're just dog cubes. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to make Bluey into a bit of a troublemaker. Whereas Bingo is going to be a bit more of a goody two shoes. Are you not going to watch with me? I don't want to watch a kid's show. <laughs> but for Chili, I want to make her really sassy. But also with the warmth of a thousand suns. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Oh, it's just a kid's show, is it? You are crying. I'm gonna Something prove it. Was in my eyes. Get over here. There's tears in your eyes. Let's be honest. The real main character is the dad. He is the peak of father, the king of yes and. This show is not for kids. It's for parents to learn how to be good parents. <laughs> I finished and I actually really love them. Look how cute they are. Hold on, the next character's here. Wanna play a game? Uh, no. Well, too bad, it's guess who? So for those that don't know, this is a game where Rich has to describe <laughs> someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. Okay, Rich, give me them sweet, sweet teats on that face shape. Um, he's kind of shaped like a squishy, chubby muffin. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, like, giant puss in his eyes. <laughs> he's really cute in general. <laughs> Any other defining features other than the planet-sized eyes? Yeah, he's got really big ears, like, how are you thinking? Ten times bigger than that. <laughs> I feel so sorry for whoever this is. A tiny nose. Tiny nose. Tiny mouth. Tiny mouth. Wrinkles. <laughs> wrinkles? So many wrinkles. Are you serious? All of the wrinkles. Is this, is this who I think it is? He doesn't have mittens, honey. <laughs> Dang it! I was onto something. Just so you know, he's green. <gasps> it's Squidward, isn't it? <laughs> who was it? It's Baby O. <gasps> oh, no! Hey, Rich. What? You want to play a game? Oh, no. Well, too bad. It's Guess Who. So for those that don't know, this is Guess Who, a game where Rich <laughs> has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. So, Rich, tell me about this man. Uh, well, he's really short. And okay. And he's really happy. <laughs> oh, oh, he's really short and happy. Oh, thanks, Rich. Here to help. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, are you? Are there any other details you'd like to give me? Well, he's got big ears. <laughs> Big ears. He's wearing red shorts okay. and no shirt. Oh, he's shirtless, is he? And he's 92 years old. <laughs> Ew! I thought you were talking Baywatch, not Life Alert! Why is he wearing a watch? <laughs> because old shirtless men always wear Rolexes. <laughs> I'm assuming he has gray hair then. Actually, he has black hair and black. it's all over him. <laughs> An old, shirtless, hairy man! <laughs> this is the least favorite thing I've ever made. Who is it? Mickey Mouse! <laughs> I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? I feel like I've turned almost every single villain into a princess. And now it's time for possibly the biggest tool of a villain, Hans! <laughs> so for Hans, I was thinking very, like, Mean Girls, Regina George vibes. You know, very two-faced. Do you agree? You think you're really pretty. Every word coming out of her mouth is for a purpose and has a reason. <laughs> there are so many other people I would much rather be turning into a Disney princess right now. Like me? Yes, honest <laughs> honestly, yes. Ah, but alas, I'm stuck drawing this manipulative, off-brand Ritz cracker of a man. I finish each other's... Sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. Because you're full of baloney! Hans is definitely the princess in the group that you do not want to tell your secrets to. Because Miss Gurley has definitely spilled even more tea in her lifetime than America did in 7073. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Boston. She's like a like a flamingo. She's pretty, but you can't trust her. Wait, what? <laughs> Do that. Everybody say hello to Princess Han! <laughs> the most toxic princess of them all. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! Uh, and who is gonna be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this beautiful curvy queen with that. <laughs> this isn't working. Rich! Yeah. How do I make a curvy luscious cube? I don't know. Okay, she's gonna have hips that don't lie, <laughs> but no thighs. Oh great! This thing's gonna have stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this thing shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! Find the generator in my box. Rich! What? I have art block! Oh. Get in here and help me! But I'm busy petting kitties. <laughs> <laughs> can you please draw me some shapes so that I can turn into faces? Fine, Luna. I guess you don't matter. <laughs> oh, so 
yeah. rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna draw me some shapes, some interesting shapes, and I, I'm gonna turn those shapes into faces. Okay, I can work. I can work with most of these, but <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It could be a helicopter. <laughs> okay, I'm ignoring that. We're starting with Lady Violet. I think Lady Violet bakes pies. How can you tell? It's in her smile. What? That is the face of a woman who makes Boston pecan pie. <laughs> No one's yard is better than my yard. I have, I have superior grass. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. <laughs> I made discount Bo Burnham. Hey, look, I made you some content. How oh, good is this one? <laughs> when in doubt, make a Karen and a squirrel. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? Last time, we did Chad. But this time, you guys voted for Patricia. Patricias are either really old or really young. There's just, there's just no middle ground there. And when she was young, she listened to no one. Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. <laughs> now that she's older, she still listens to no one. But that's more due to the hearing aids. <laughs> Trishas demand the finer things in life, even from, from their suitors, their lovers. Like a gigolo. <laughs> what did you just say? Um, I don't wanna, I don't know, I don't wanna say it again. <laughs> First of all, that is not how you say that. Second of all, that is not what you think it is. <laughs> no, the finer things in life, you know, like, like opera, and, and pearl necklaces, and, <laughs> and olive garden. What? Bring me more breadsticks, breadstick boy! Cause you know what, Patricia's aged like fine wine. Expensive, with perfect taste. And just a little bit bitter. <laughs> See you, Patricia. You're better than the rest of us. On the next name here. What if the vaccines were alive? And you know we about to do Pfizer. Oh, say what? <laughs> <laughs> and if we're sticking with this idea that they're Hogwarts houses, I think he has like Ravenclaw vibes. Mmm, <laughs> Daddy Pfizer has quite the chest. I'm sorry, Professor Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> Mister <laughs> Professor Daddy Pfizer. No, since he's since he's 95 percent effective, I thought I'd make him 95 percent legs. You know how they store Pfizer in such cold temperatures? Well, I think I know why. You gotta keep this hottie on a... <laughs> okay. What, what should he be wearing? I don't know. Maybe a cardigan? Maybe a sweater? I like mm. sweater. What do, you, what do you think? Some pants? <laughs> pants? You know, I got Pfizer in me. I got that man inside me. Uh, yeah, we, all, we all do, Casey. That man gets around. <laughs> You know, he's not just 95% effective. He's 95% attractive! Daddy Pfizer. We are finally gonna watch Soul. And I was challenged to find out what we would look like if we were souls. Are you ready? Play. This should go without saying, but... Spoilers ahead! So apparently when you die, you become like these green flubber things? Wait, I don't... mean we're dead? <laughs> let's just, let's just not talk about that. Okay, wait! You're telling me you can't bring your nose to the afterlife, but you can bring a hat? My soul is definitely not gonna have brushed hair. Like, this is the afterlife. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. You're still gonna look cute. You're still gonna look so cute. Just a couple of blue baddies, that's all. Wait a minute. I'm in the what about Mr. Mittens? Mr. Mittens. What? Oh, no, no, Mr. Mittens! Oh my god, poor Mr. Mittens! Where is he gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> I wanna make sure I have a big mouth since I never shut up. Oh, Remy, <laughs> no. Well, that was a lot of emotions, but here we are, souls. Enjoy. <laughs> Three years ago, my husband and I decided to carve each other as pumpkins. <laughs> but this year, we're doing it again because I think our carving skills might have gotten a little bit better. I'm planning mine out, but Rich apparently is just going to wing it. Why does it look like it's bleeding? No, <laughs> hey, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Stop shaking it around like that. You have to shake it, it won't get in otherwise. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to my pumpkin now. <laughs> you would think I'd be better at stabbing. Why would you think that? <laughs> no reason. Don't worry about it. Okay. How's it looking? Good. <gasps> what? <laughs> what needs to be bigger? Just make it bigger. What needs to be bigger? I didn't know what to do about the beard, but this year I'm gonna use leaves. I'm done, and mine's looking pretty good. <laughs> uh, are you ready? <laughs> Show me whatever that is. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? I have a beard. Yeah. Turn around and look. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! Happy Halloween, Bridge. Yeah. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Ooh, yeah. uh, and who will our first character be? Ooh, Lumiere. <laughs> who are we 
we combining with Lumiere? Oh, God. Shucky! <laughs> there is legitimately no hope of this thing looking normal. <laughs> For those not in the know, I have to somehow combine this saucy candle man with... <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. This is this is what I've chosen to do with my life. I am sitting here. I am sitting here. And I am trying to figure out how a toddler's feet would be combined with a candlestick bottom. My life is, is consumed with this Bob the Builder looking toe of a candle. This might be too much wax for the size of a candle. Oh, I don't know. I guess his wick. <laughs> Oh, he's got big wick energy. What? <laughs> he's on fire. He's on fire. All his guests, they have expired. I know you're all dying to meet Lucky, so here he is. <laughs> Find the generator here. My wife has a really bad cold right now, and she doesn't feel good. So like a good husband, I'm going to draw her fused with something random. I just got to get the tablet from her sicky nest. Ugh, why does she put these on the tablet? Just got to get a picture of her for reference, and she's definitely not going to hate me for this. Last time I drew my wife fused with Smokey the Bear. This time it's going to be Godzilla. Oh my God. Oh, she's going to divorce me. I'm going to draw my wife a little bit sick, because that's what my art is all about. Being realistic. Real art. Real people real monsters instead of these icky spikes i'm gonna wrap her in a blanket a blanket for my godzilla princess something's missing there we go my masterpiece is done and it's time to show my wife hey honey guess what what oh god i drew you <laughs> okay look oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're godzilla what is this thing um it's your snot rag <laughs> Find the generator here. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? <laughs> Last time we did Patricia. But this time you guys overwhelmingly voted for Kevin. <laughs> I have been particularly excited about this one because apparently Kevin is the male Karen. What? I thought it was Kyle. No, see, I thought it was Ken. Kevins don't become the male Karen until they turn about 60 years old. <laughs> then they get nasty. <laughs> Unlike the majestic Karens <laughs> whose territory spans the local town. Targets and Walmarts. <laughs> These creatures are often found traveling in packs <laughs> at your local sports bar or Burger King, harassing waitstaff with their loud, mighty yells and their copious amounts of sweat. Yeah. To all the Kevins out there who are like, I don't want to grow up to be a male Karen, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, just as long as you're not wearing your sunglasses on the back of your head. <laughs> with that, everyone say hello to our male Karen, Kevin. <laughs> Vote on the next name here. There's this new AI filter that's been going around making some art, and I think we all know what needs to be done. It's an art showdown, and it's me versus the AI. I'm gonna have the random drawing generator figure out what we're drawing. Who are we gonna draw? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not good at drawing animals. What is the alligator gonna be doing? <laughs> oh, he's an astronaut. In all serious, I'm actually, <laughs> actually kind of worried. Why? Because it's a computer. It has all the skill of the entire internet. I have me, and I can't draw so good, no, though. no, no, because yeah. this thing, this thing can reference like <laughs> Da Vinci and I'm over here drawing fettuccine legs. Are you feeling better? <sighs> I am so much better. You know what? I've thickened <laughs> him up and now he's got both cheeks on Europe. He's pretty cute, but like, I'm still kind of nervous that the AI is going to be better. Oh. So you used two different filters because what did you, what did you say? Uh, one of them was way too realistic. Realistic. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Show them. Oh, realistic. God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> And the generator here. I'm gonna draw Amazon as a person. So I picture Amazon as like kind of like a delivery man or like a, a traveling salesman. Somewhat like a like an everyday Santa Claus. You know, he has everything, he delivers everywhere, but he doesn't sneak into your house. <laughs> Unlike Santa Claus, however, Amazon sometimes forgets to deliver your packages, even though you've ordered them so many times and it's been weeks. Where are my kitchen chairs at, Amazon? It says they're getting here tomorrow. Oh, does it? Does it say that? Does it say that? Anyone who wants their packages, you know, a little bit faster, you can always order from Amazon Prime. Amazon's little helper fairy. She's small. She's fast. What? She won't drop your packages off last. <laughs> He's gotta be like a little muscular to carry all those packages, but he has to have strong, sinewy legs Excuse that Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were in here. Should I leave you alone with your Amazon drive? <laughs> no, shut up. Cap toys, video games, and toast. He's got it all. Is there something you desire? Well, call. Cause he's got your back. And don't forget about Prime. I'm the strong sinewy leg man. Stop! You guys know Call Me Chris. What's up? Well, a little while back, I drew all of her characters. But there's more. 
And against my better judgment and tendonitis, I'm gonna draw all of them. Why don't we start with Janet and Riley's best friend? Misha, Sergey. <laughs> Katrina must not look strong like man. <laughs> Katrina looks strong like babe who fight Karens in the forest. And of course her twin boys who look like the Russian version of Fred and George Weasley. Oh, and speaking of Karen. Karen and her son Hunter. Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> Dear God, if I haven't known some Karens in my day. You know, I almost feel bad for Hunter. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you can't forget about our lovely Southern mama, Carol. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, and Carol's two sons, Buddy and Texas, couple of scoundrels. That's right. <laughs> Buddy and Texas have a new sister named Diamond. Okay. Let's see, we have the nosy neighbor. She's at it again, Tom. The dog. <laughs> Babushka and Nona. Amy, bartender, and Courtney. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Wanna play a game? Oh, God. <laughs> so for those not in the know, this is Guess Who? A game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. Now, Rich, I know you're excited, but please. If you could calm down for a moment to tell me about her face and body shape. Well, she's short and round. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Slow down there, tiger. I'm picturing like a like a spunky old lady. No, she's like a kid, but like spunky. A spunky kid. Old, yeah. A spunky kid. Yeah. Hey, we got a small round spunky kid. Tell me about her clothes. You're going to hate this. <laughs> it's like the clothes you used to wear as a child. <gasps> no. <laughs> Dare I even ask about the hair? Quad, but with uh, poofier hair. <laughs> oh my god, this poor child! Colors, go! Black hair, yellow pants, pink shirt, and brown skin. Okay, <laughs> here's who I made! Who was it? It was Thor the Explorer! Oh, oh dear god! We've drawn Lightning and Sally! Nick and Judy! Toothless! Ahua! Appa! Stitch! Ooh, Mushu! And Donkey as humans! Rich! Oh god! <laughs> Is that a bagel? That's a lot of characters! And this time, it was really close, but you guys voted for Sid! The Sid! Needless to say, I'm a little excited. Oh, are you sure? Shut. Put the floor bagel down! Okay, I've started! And I'm trying so hard not to make him look like a freaking lizard! And well, for body shape, he'd be a nice round, a juicy, a purr. <laughs> Eating scungy floor bagel. Just some last minute touches and say hello to our favorite slacker. <laughs> or on the next character here. So when I talk about a Karen, you all know what I'm talking about. But what do I picture for other names? What would your name look like to me? And we're gonna start with Linda. So to me, Linda's the kind of person that puts puts girls in the front and boys boys in the back. In the back of what? Get in the back! That's right, Linda. Everything you got, you bought, cause boys can't buy your love. <laughs> spends her weekends wine tasting with her girls, Debbie and uh, Mona Lisa in Napa County. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on her couch, she has a pillow that says, Namaste in bed, and her wardrobe consists of these shirts. <laughs> I can honestly say, with my whole heart, there is no one in this world who can take on a Karen, except for a Linda. It's ready to go, mitts to mitts with Karen. Oven mitts, that is. Because Linda, Linda is the PTA baking champ. Her Rice Krispie treats could feed thousands. And without further ado, take a look at Linda. <laughs> what name do you guys want to see next? I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? So far, we've done Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Facilier, and Kronk. But this time, it's gonna be a little different because it's time to do the god of mischief himself, Loki. There are no men like me. And there definitely won't be any princesses like you either. Every time I draw a sassy princess, I always feel the need to put like a really high slit up her dress. I did the same thing with Hades, and you cannot tell me these two wouldn't be best friends. I also feel the need to point out that Loki can already look like this if he'd like to, because he can literally transform into anything or anyone. Wait. What was that for? <laughs> Just checking. Oh, and she's got to have an animal sidekick, and I think we already know what Loki's is going to be. He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, yeah, it's me, and he stabbed me. Loki is definitely the kind of princess that if she finds out your prince is cheating on you, bam, he's got itching powder in his undies. Wait, oh my god, you got... <laughs> I think I have a new favorite princess. I'm in love. I'm, I'm going to get married to this woman. I'm sorry. 
So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did our boy Mike. <laughs> but this time we're doing Jessica. All right, first off, Jessica is the mom of the friend group. Not only is she busy taking care of everyone else, but her purse contains everything, including Kleenex, pain meds, and dried deer jerky. <laughs> if it's the apocalypse, find yourself. Jessica. Jessica is really on top of everything, except for the thousands of DIYs she started and never finished. Let us have a moment of silence for all of the unused paint and contact paper. But you never finished DIYs either. Shh, <laughs> a moment of silence. You know those signs in people's homes that say girl boss and but first coffee? Uh, yeah. She has all of them in her home. Coincidentally, fall is actually Jessica's favorite season. <laughs> the fresh smell of pumpkin spice on all of Jessica's sweaters. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Water-stained Uggs. Everybody, make sure to say hello to your neighbor, Jessica. What name do you guys want to see? It's been quite a while since I've drawn any interesting pictures of my husband. <laughs> and the lovely uptime princess dress-up has given me a golden opportunity. So that means it's time to draw my husband. Let's find an outfit for me to draw him in. You know, it's pretty, but I don't think it's quite screaming Goddess Richard to me. <laughs> beautiful options for him. I found the perfect outfit. I'm gonna turn him into a witchy princess for fall. I always wonder if one of these years, one of these drawings is gonna make him realize that he should have left me just years ago. How long has Richard's beard gotten recently? I'm on a secret mission. I'm on a secret I can hear you. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I don't know. Since his beard's gotten pretty long and he's a witch, I'm gonna make his beard star-shaped. I've always thought Rich had really good legs for thigh highs or fishnets. Not to mention the dumpy. <laughs> no! There is a lot of detail in these clothes, but that's fine, you know what? Because only the best, only the best for my pumpkin spice. <laughs> you guys have finished me witchy witchy! But what does witchy witchy think? What did you <laughs> Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best time princess to me, honey. <laughs> Go and find your own outfit. Find the game here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! Uh, and who is gonna be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I don't, I don't know! <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this beautiful, curvy queen with that! <laughs> this isn't working! Rich! Yeah. How do I make a curvy, luscious I don't know. Okay, she's gonna have hips that don't lie, <laughs> but no thighs. Oh great, this thing's gonna have stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this thing shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! I'm the generator in my bio. Wanna play a game? <laughs> well, too bad! It's guess who? But for those not in the know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. All right, Rich, tell me about this character. Well, he's kind of tall. He's tall. And he's strong, like puh. <laughs> <laughs> like puh? Is this puh enough for you? Uh, it's pretty puh. It's pretty puh. I just want to make sure it's not lacking a puh. He's got a ton of hair, like so much hair. Oh, is it like... Is it like healthy hair or like? Mm -hmm. Um, he conditions. <laughs> we got the hair, we got the bod, we got the facade. How's the fit? Uh, what fit? His clothes. What's he wearing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't draw that, Rich! Okay, well, he's wearing a fur coat. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, his hair and his coat or whatever are blue and purple. Here's mine! Wow! What was it? Sully! <laughs> I just gotta know. What if Disney princesses became villains? I've drawn quite a few Disney villains as beautiful princesses. But this time we're switching it up and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. So without further ado, let's make Anna into the villain she was destined to be. And you may be wondering why we're not doing Elsa. We want to see her really let it go. You may be surprised to find out, but Elsa was supposed to be a villain. And I don't think I could improve on these designs. Basically, what would Anna be like if she never found her strong, handsome, good boy and instead went with the Disney? Disgusting hot. Sucked in by those beautiful eyes. <laughs> are you pouting? I'm sorry, Luna. You have to go. This is the I think my husband's eyes are ugly corner. 
Are you freaking serious right now? I think the evil Anna would have very opulent taste to match her brand new disgusting husband. Even though Anna has her own crown in the second movie, I'm gonna give her Elsa's crown from the first movie. Because she definitely killed her for it. <laughs> Here she is in all of her evil glory. <laughs> who do you guys want to see next? So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time, we did Jessica. But this time, we're doing the long-awaited, much-debated Chad. So we all know a Chad, but none of them are above the age of 25. What if they are? Well, then they won't be for long. Got him. <laughs> oh, and Chads don't actually eat food. They are fueled entirely by protein powder, power lifting, and white claw. Now I know what you must be thinking. Not all Chads are the same, right? right. Wrong! Without fail, every single Chad's wardrobe consists of puka shell necklaces, gray sweatpants, and pastels. <laughs> the only people who wear more pastel than Chad is a mom on Easter Sunday. It's almost done, but I feel I feel like something's <laughs> missing. Ah, there we go, the Ray-Bans. <laughs> With that, everyone say hello to your next door neighbor, Chad. He's pretty great. Chad is great. I've tried my husband as a lot of different things and a lot of different times. But what if other creators tried to draw my husband? <laughs> Beautiful. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Am I ready for art talk? You are. So much concentration. So much concentration. <laughs> I like that because I'm shaking. Yeah. Being double. Oh my god, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> Three. And I said, well, I like a root beer. You gotta draw my husband. Yeah. It's time. Well, yay, I mean yay. <laughs> I'm a little terrified. <laughs> I'm excited though. Oh, oh my god! god. I'm gonna draw my husband. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> I said stop moving. Okay, okay. Let's move. No, you're still moving. Stop it. I can see the whole. Oh, 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 oh. Let's play a game. <laughs> Guess who with art? So here's the rules. Rich, uh, oh, me? that guy, <laughs> yes, is going to describe someone to me, someone famous, and I am going to have to draw them and see how close I can get. Okay. Face shape. Go. He's kind of built like a square. If you're just doing SpongeBob, <laughs> I swear to God! We have a square man. And how old is the square man? Um, he's kind of daddy aged. <laughs> daddy aged? <laughs> we talking like daddy or daddy? Uh, kind of both. What? Daddy aged is? Oh, and he needs to be disappointed in everyone around him. <laughs> that I can do! <laughs> okay, hair. It's kind of messy and spiky. I think I know who it is. Oh. Okay, give me the hair color because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I know who it is. It's blonde. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, here's my character. Who were you thinking of? It's Gordon Ramsay. <gasps> oh no! He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna call me a donut. Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Toothless, Olaf, Appa, and finally Stitch as humans. That's a lot of characters, uh -huh. Rich. That's a lot of characters, uh -huh. Rich! And this time, <laughs> it was really close, almost a three-way tie, but you guys voted for Moshe! So let's turn this travel-sized dragon into a full-sized man! So, I'm making him look a little bit like the other ancestors, but with his own dramatic flair, because, you know, you don't meet a man dragon like this every dynasty. And that being said, his outfit's gonna be just a little bit more on the fancy side, because, you know, our boy knows how to dress. Don't you for a single second think that his fanciness means that he would not be completely willing to bite a hairy man's double-cheeked up on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon butt what? to save China! That was foul. Let's get down to business and draw Mushu! <laughs> you go, Dragon Man! You can vote on who I'm gonna draw next in my bio. I'm gonna turn a random photo into a character and you're gonna help. <laughs> Alright, stop eating Tostitos and find me a person to draw. Rich, you're not even looking, you're I eating. I am looking. Give me the chips. No. Give me the chips. No, Give me the chips. Me the chips. <laughs> Where did she be? I mean, not that I'm complaining, she's gorgeous. She but... looks like Elsa. She does kind of look like Elsa. Can I have my chips back now? <laughs> okay, we're drawing almost Elsa. <laughs> and almost Elsa is like queen of the next. My <laughs> god, girl! Okay, confession time. I've kind of like always wanted one of those those cool crown things, but I just I just know I can't pull it off. Aww. I am I am no queen. I do not slay. Oh. Not like this girl though. Her hair alone <laughs> could slay millions. Okay. You're my queen. You could slay me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <gasps> 
did you get a sucker? I don't know. Why didn't you get me know. a sucker? Oh, yeah. You're my queen. No, you don't even get me a sucker. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're my queen. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, at least hopefully this queen has a king that loves her. <laughs> Let's draw something random. With the fusion generator? <laughs> How did you know? Okay, who will our first character be? Oh, oh it's gonna be so cute! And who will he be combined with? Oh, oh no! I was so wrong! This is not gonna be cute at all! So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this little guy with... Okay, real talk though, these two would not get along in real life! <laughs> not allow fairy tale trash to come in and ruin his perfect bud. Okay, I'm drawing his clothes, and I know that Olaf doesn't really wear clothes, but I refuse to draw a half-naked human snow squatch. Nobody needs to see that. Hey, Rich. What? Do you think he knows Samantha? What? Well, at least he knows the Muffin Man. What? Get ready for a new nightmare. Generator here. It's Valentine's Day. And that means it's time to draw my husband. Over the years, I've drawn some uh, interesting pictures of my husband, but last year I drew him as my very own Valentine's Day princess. And what a beautiful princess he was! But this year, I thought I'd leave it up to fate and fuse him with somebody random. And who is lucky enough to be combined with my heart <laughs> slut? He's gonna be. Somehow combine this fabulous sassy sea witch with green view tree key. I decided to turn the eels into cats. Ah! So Ursula's got like quite the dump truck. But what about Rich? Is he all in any junk? I'm thinking yes. I can't wait to see what Rich is gonna say. Okay, look. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my butt focus are pizza. Over a year ago, in one of my first random drawing videos, I drew... George Washington. Being dead sexy. <laughs> you know what? It, it really sucked. Oh no, Audrey, it didn't suck. Yes, it did. It's disgusting. But that was a long time ago, so we're gonna do a redraw and, and hopefully, hopefully do it better. Well, my old drawing looks like you picked it up at the discount rack at a dollar store. My new drawing's gonna look like you got it fresh out of the oven at the Hot President's Wholesale Market. This time, I really will turn you into such a babe. He's chopping down the... <gasps> what? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Is that sexy Washington again? Maybe. What's wrong with you? Don't you, don't you judge me. I can honestly say I did not expect my decisions today to include whether or not Washington had chest hair. When he was a lad, he chopped down cherry trees every morning to help him get sick. <laughs> Now that he's grown, he don't need to chop trees because he's already built like a brick. What you I just gotta know. What if Disney princesses became villains? I've turned a lot of the Disney villains into some beautiful princesses. <laughs> but this time we're pulling an Uno reverse and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. Starting with a personal favorite, Rapunzel. <laughs> first things first, if she's a villain, she's gotta have more, more angles and, and sharp edges. As you know, if Disney's taught us one thing, it's not to trust a character with high cheekbones. <laughs> if her makeup's on point, you better, you better be running from that joint. Zoinks. <laughs> Zoinks! I think we also gotta, like, you know, age him up a little bit, because all the villains are a little bit older than the princesses. Which, like, what exactly is that trying to say? Like, we all just get bitter and angry as we get older? You should look in the mirror, not at me. <gasps> <laughs> you know, Rich really woke up this morning and chose disrespect and sass. Don't you, don't you hide from me. I am living for angry Pascal. Come out now. No! Oh. You're banished! Oh, she's ready. I guess being stuck inside all day really did turn her evil. I recently helped make a coloring book with other artists on TikTok. It's a lot of familiar pieces you might have seen before. And Rich, I've got an idea. Oh, no. I've got an idea. Richard, darling, uh, light of my life. Me? Yes, you. Would you color a page from the book? But I'm Richard does not. Draw. Well, you're not Richard does not color. Oh, and look, you're going to color yourself. Uh. <laughs> okay, go. Uh. How do I pick a color? <laughs> you, it's the color. Rich? There's too many. <laughs> um, Rich, what <laughs> what brush are you using? Um, uh, I don't know the the paintbrush. <laughs> There's other brushes. Oh, I like this one. Taking some artistic liberties, are we? What? <laughs> You've never had a pink beard, Rich. <laughs> oh God, he's found the 
life, precious. I am magic power. <laughs> the big reveal. I'm an artist. <laughs> it's beautiful, honey. I know. You can find the coloring book in my bio. I've already drawn Rich as a superhero, a fall guy, and a Disney villain. But Rich has been so excited to watch Godzilla vs. King Kong that I'm gonna... No, Richard, I'm not filming you. I'm not filming... So I wondered, what would happen if I mixed this monster of a man with Godzilla? <laughs> Godzilla is about 400 feet tall, so I'm gonna have to accentuate the bodaciousness of my boy. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love my husband, but I don't think he would say no to being so big that you could destroy an entire city. <laughs> now, I've already watched the movie, so I already know who, who wins, who wins. Richard, Richard, you can't hide behind the curtain. This is a surprise. Richard might be a big monster right now, but he's always been a big softy for cats. <laughs> Now I know that man's only gonna use his nuclear breath to make atomic hearts for me in the sky! Oh my- Well I guess not only hearts, what? Say hello to Rich as Godzilla! Oh my god, look at the face! More like Sasszilla! Here you go, Rich, here's your surprise! What? If, what? if that's how you feel about it- Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally! Nick and Judy! This is a toothless! Olaf! Appa! Stitch! And even Mushu as humans! That's a lot of characters! You good? I just wanted some milk. And this time it was so close, but you guys voted for Donkey. Hey, me, me, anyone. Oh, oh, pick me. Oh, I know. So let's turn this burro into a bullio. <laughs> As always, we start it with the body type, and he's got to—he's got to be you know pretty pretty thick around the middle with just <laughs> legs for seconds. <laughs> he's got to be like like in your face, obnoxious and loud, like <laughs> like me. No. no. You're right. He's not like me. He's actually cool. Trip trying to get everyone to still sing show tunes three hours into the road trip. <laughs> he's got some major cheekage on this oh, man. He's an ass man. Oh my god. I meant his face. Jeez. <laughs> Say hello to Donkey. Vote on the next character here. It's Mother's Day. So I thought I'd draw my mom doing something random. All right, Mother, what are you doing? <laughs> the Naval Queen. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about my mother. My mom it's the kind of person that will uh, like make you a healthy snack and take real good care of you when you're sick. But she's also the person that took me doorbell ditching as a kid and uh, flooded her college campus. So yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, she's a pretty epic mom. Now, all that being said, I'm not sure how she's going to react to being an evil queen. Especially because I haven't seen her in like a year because of COVID. Oh, hi, mom. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing just fine. I swear I don't hate you, even though I drew you as an evil queen. Well, <laughs> time to see how much my mom loves me. Now we just have to get the reaction. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, open them. <laughs> you're an evil queen. Happy Mother's Day. You guys know Call Me Chris. Yeah. Well, twice now, I've drawn all of her characters. <laughs> but by gum and gosh, gosh darn it, she made more. So say hello to Carpal Tunnel, because I'm going to draw all of them. <laughs> so why don't we start with someone a little close to a certain Chad's heart? That's right, it's Bex. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all went through a phase where we thought we were as cool as Bex, but none of us, none of us really were. Even you. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed my key. Move over, Courtney, I'm betting on Bex. And up next is... What's that music? <laughs> oh my, if it isn't Scout Leader Boone and his assistant Walter. Okay, so Walter gives me like heavy Dwight Schrute vibes. But this guy... <laughs> he reminds me of one man. And one man only. <laughs> Take the <lead>. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on! We have a couple additions to Janet and Riley's family. <laughs> Janet's father and her evil twin sister. And Katrina's got some family, Boris, Svetlana, and James. And then we have Natalie and Tom. <laughs> Who's your favorite? I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? <laughs> we got Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Fessily, and the, <laughs> the Shadow Man. But now it's time for one I've been waiting for. Crunk! Alright, poison. Poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison! <laughs> Before y'all like come for me down in the comments, like, he's not a villain. He's a nice guy. I know. But he deserves this. And besides, he's already halfway there. He can already talk. By the way, the squirrel is apparently called Bucky. I give Bucky a spinach pop. Bro, I am so excited to be drawing another buff princess. Look at those arms! Move over, Gaston. You ain't the soul swole any mole. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong, but Kronk will be lifting weights with Gaston in the morning, baking in the afternoon with Tiana, and chatting it up with Cinderella's mice in the evenings. Pretty much all around. Kronk makes the 
perfect princess. I think I'm in love. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did Linda, fabulous Linda. But this time we're doing Mike. 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 <laughs> First and foremost, Mike's entire personality exists in his front lawn. Think about it. Think about it. Have you ever met a young Mike? No. No! They all emerge at the age of 35 from either perfectly mown grass or the home improvement aisle of Home Depot. Mike's radiate like pure dad energy. What if there's a younger Mike. Oh, he won't exist for long. What? They'll get him. What the oh, and you might be thinking to yourself, Mike's entire personality is just grass and grills, but you'd be wrong! You'd be so wrong! If you happen to find yourself invited into the home of a Mike, you might notice their superb sound system. <laughs> That's in order to watch all of their war documentaries! When you turn up the bass, you can really feel the explosions! But come springtime, all the Mikes shed their North Face coats and don their Wrangler jeans only to cut them into the fabulous jorts! Let me introduce you to your friendly neighborhood, Mike! <laughs> Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Toothless, Olaf, Appa, a boy Stitch, Mushu, Donkey, and even Sid as humans. Heritage. Why are we whispering? That's a lot of characters. Yeah. This time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Wally and Eve. <laughs> you know what? I knew this day would come, and I have both been dreading it and dying to do it. <laughs> the hardest part of this is trying to make a human face to go with this. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. This is mainly gonna be about personality. We got ourselves a post-apocalyptic body and a garbage <laughs> goober. Huh. I didn't know you were in this movie. <gasps> I've decided to model his outfit after Cornelius from Hello Dolly. With one exception, his Sunday bests are made out of trash. <laughs> Eve looks like she stepped out of an episode of Star Trek. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I couldn't figure out how to do her eyes, but then glasses. <laughs> also, Wally's tie is a Ziploc bag. I am, I am so good. <laughs> Here they Aww. are, they're so cute. <laughs> you two were the hardest thing I've ever had to draw. Put on the next characters here. <laughs> Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> And who will our first character be? Ooh, Rapunzel! Ooh, I love it. Whole new world. That's not Rapunzel. What? <laughs> Get out of the cushion, Rich. No. You can't hide from the comet! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? I just want to combine this absolute goddess <laughs> with a scungy beach ball! <laughs> This thing is cursed. Yeah, I've decided to lean a little bit more under her features, and you know what? It was the right choice. A whole new curse! A horrible thing I'm forced to draw! Okay, wait. This actually might be working. Guys, beach ball princess? Yeah, yeah. Beach ball princess? I yeah. thought I was gonna yeah. hit her over the head with a frying pan, but like, I'm on board with this! Like, Shrek who? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Find the generator! So, I've been wondering, what if fast food restaurants went to private school? What? We know these icons now, but what were they before? A jock, a nerd, a goth? Starting with Wendy's and Taco Bell. Uh -huh. Now, you might think Wendy's is sassy now, but I can guarantee you she was even more sassy back then. <laughs> back in the day, during her goth phase. <laughs> Wendy's was a good student, but she sometimes got mouthy with her professors. <laughs> McDonald's is her Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and at the school talent show, her roasts are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Rich, do you know what these burger skulls say to me? What? They say I will absolutely curse your entire franchise if you keep copying up on my homework! But Taco Bell, on the other hand, was a good boy with nacho sunglasses. <laughs> and what, you may be asking, was his passion before becoming an absolute icon? <laughs> well, they were a band geek. A percussion <laughs> band geek. I know what you're thinking, he may be a band geek, but he's still a blast. <laughs> a Baja blast. <laughs> When I'm modeling his outfit after my husband's old band uniform. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first students to enter fast food private oh, oh. school. Hey, hello to Wendy's and TV. <laughs> I wish I were this cool or this precious. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? So you've heard of Bones No Bones Day. It's about Noodles, the dog. Every day Noodles owner wakes him up and if you can stand, it's a Bones Day. And if you can't stand, it's a No Bones Day. So I'm gonna create a drawing for Bones Day and No Bones Day. What is a Bones Day? It's a good day. Oh. And a No Bones Day is a bad day. Oh. Let's start with No Bones. For this drawing, I really want Noodles to look like he's got no bones! No bones day is a good day for some self-care and to lay in a pile of your own drool. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with your bread? No, that's my dog. If a no bones day's got noodles feeling weak, then I know what must be done for the bones day. Muscle pug, muscle pug, I'm drawing a muscle pug. Noodles doesn't look like spaghetti, he looks like a whole beefy ravioli. Richard, do you like bone puns? No. Really? You don't find them humorous? Uh. Are you ready for the reveal? Here's no bones day! You guys need to prepare yourselves for Bones Day. Are you seated? Have you had some water? You need some water. Get some water. You got your water? It's Bones Day! <laughs> Whether it's a no Bones Day or a Bones Day, just
just have a great day. So for a while now, I've been working on one of the 50 states. <laughs> We're live. And you know, Rich, I think it's time for a recap. Oh, <laughs> so far, we have Florida, Oregon, Minnesota, Arizona, Alaska, Wisconsin, Georgia, Utah, Washington, Colorado, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Ohio, Idaho, Nevada, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, Delaware, Montana, and Pennsylvania. I took a little break from the series. It was, it was a lot. But I'm ready to get back into it, and I need your guys' <laughs> help because I don't know enough about your states. So please, let me know what makes your state interesting. <laughs> and what states do you guys want to see next? So I've drawn Lightning and Sally, Toothless, Olaf, Sid, Wally, and Eve, and a lot of others as humans. But this time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Tom and Jerry? I'm really surprised, but let's do Tom and Jerry! Since Tom and Jerry was actually a show started in the 40s, I'm gonna give them 40s outfits. I asked Rich if they ever wore any outfits in the show before, and <laughs> I can't put him in that he room. He looks good. No. Not doing the orange and the and the green. Oh, but that's the best part. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Tom definitely cares a little bit more about his appearance. You know, he's out here looking looking suave in his best suit, but Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's looking ratty. You like my pun? Oh, honey. Nice <laughs> <Hey>, pun. <laughs> oh! I love Jerry and all, but Tom, Tom's hitting a bit different here. What does that mean? Nothing. I'm- I'm not simping for Tom! Stop it! Here they are! Tom and Jerry! They have never looked better! Vote on the next character! He this guy stays my wife's birthday! Since she's always drawing me, this time I'm gonna draw her! Fused with someone random! <laughs> Who's lucky enough to be fused with my beautiful wife? Smokey the Bear! <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna suck. We have to make a really pretty hot bear. S the smoky, the hot bear. The smoking hot bear. Just gonna admit right now that I'm gonna be tracing just a little bit. Just, just a little. They might have a lot in common. Like Audrey's cute and Smokey's a bear and he's cute. As much as I would like to, I'm not gonna draw her shirtless. And if that's why you're here, you can get out. Get out. It's done. And uh, it looks great. And. Oh my god, I thank god I got her a good present too. Now we're gonna see what the birthday girl thinks. Hey honey. Why are you videoing me? I drew you. <laughs> you drew me? Yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's you fused with Smokey the Bear. What are these things? It's your bear ears. <laughs> Find the generator here. You guys know call me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now I've drawn all of her characters. <laughs> But Naya cannot rest, what are you talking for she has made more! So, without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites! <laughs> you best move out of the way when Chriselle Chris comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle, the TV show, Keeping Up With Chris, got me like Kim Kardashian, huh? <laughs> this next character may even be less grounded in reality. <laughs> I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. You know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue, but I know people like this. <laughs> you know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. <laughs> Who's your favorite? I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. <laughs> But I'm just sitting down. working. You have to try. Kicking <laughs> and screaming the entire time. What did you make? It's Madame Pony. Oh! <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to reach <laughs> Madame Pony Guard in my own style. <laughs> you know what? Some days, there are days, there are days when I wonder, am I using my expensive art degree to its fullest extent? But then I get to draw people like Madame Pony Guard and her magical sheep. That's and I a think, horse. That's not... obviously a horse. Who oh, is it? I'm not changing it. Her name it. is Madame Pony. It's too late. You can't win me over with your words. You know what? I was originally kind of worried about all the gold, thinking it wouldn't work, but it works since she has a sun on her head. That is a sun. Yeah. That's a sun? That's a sun. It's not some kind of weird cactus, no. is it? Well, I'm just checking. You never know. Could be a horse. This is the most stressful thing I've created, but everyone say hello to Madame Pony Guard. <laughs> See everything you dreamed of, Rich? Yeah. Could have had a horse, though. <laughs> Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Oh, yeah. Uh, and who will our first character be? Oh, Corella DeVille. And who shall be combined with Miss DeVille? Simba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna turn out 
perfect for those that don't know. I have to somehow combine this evil skunk lady. <laughs> to wear animal pelts with an animal can be a bit of a challenge. I just realized something. It makes sense why this character is obsessed with pelts and there aren't any more mammoths in the world. <laughs> oh, this character's got some bumping hips and you might think Corolla, but no, you are mistaken. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You guys tell me. Do you guys care? About Cidella Desla. <laughs> Find the generator here. Okay. I've drawn lightning and Sally. Thick and Judy. Useless. Hola. Funky. Sid. Ollie and Eve. And even Tom and Jerry as humans. But this time. You voted for Timon and Boom. Bye, yeah, yeah. So it's time to draw warthogs and ground. No prairie dog. <laughs> oh, I picture Pumba to be very loving and sweet. Timon, on the other hand, I picture basically like Ed and Nettie. These two drifters find an abandoned child and decide to raise him as their own. Don't you hate it when you know you have your girlfriend over for the first time in many years and your adopted dads are in the next room singing about how you're doomed to fail at life? What? And then, you're, and then your dead dad shows up as a cloud and lectures you on responsibility? I certainly do. Oh, welcome to sort of like a like a lazy tourist what vibe to them. Warthogs. <laughs> do you mean warthogs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a college degree. <laughs> Turn that note. Say hello to Timon and Pumba. Stabs in all the pride land. Hold on, the next characters. As artists, it's sometimes hard to tell how far we've come and if we've really gotten any better. So as a way to test if I've gotten any better, I'm going to redraw some of my old artwork. And my loving husband Rich has decided that I'm going to redraw this piece that I made back in 2015. I, I had never done digital artwork back then and um, I was kind of obsessed with white gel pens. Yeah. I'm like 30 minutes picking out one white gel pen and I'm like, can I just go home? I'm sorry! You know, the one thing I still do though... What? <laughs> the, the outline. Bam! Outline! Oh, what says it's an outline? What do we have here? Another outline! Why do I do this? What is it accomplishing? It may be seven years later, but you know what doesn't change? My need to do incessant detail! You see the pores? I added pores! Why, you might ask? Well, I don't know. No one else is going to see them, but I do. I see them! There's even texture in her freaking socks, man! <laughs> I'm amazing! This one sort of gives like Becky vibes, you know? But this one, this one's Debra. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I finally finished with Debra, and uh, I, think, I think my style's changed just a wee tad in the last seven years. Which one do you guys like better? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator! <gasps> Whoa. And who will our first character be? Oh, Louisa! <laughs> so they're gonna be strong and gorgeous. Who is she combined with? <laughs> oh! Mr. Fucking No! no! Rich, there's, there's, no there's hope! There's hope. Buff Grandma. What? Buff Grandma! So for those not in the know, I have to somehow combine the textbook definition of a crotchety old man <laughs> with a goddess. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. Well, this is working! People really aren't buff, though. Oh! You are wrong. Let me introduce you to uh, Ernest Shepard. She is an 80-year-old bodybuilder, and she could snap you in half. If nothing else, this has taught me one thing. Old women of the world, you do not need life alert. No, no. You need deadlifts. <laughs> Leaving the saving of the earth to the men? I don't think so. Hard of hearing and hard of biceps. <laughs> this is one of the best ones I've ever done. Who's the abuela now? Find the generator here. 